Hey, what's going on, tribe? Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy holidays to you guys. All right, so let's just do a real quick energy check-in for you all. Um, don't forget, flip the rolls. Take only what you need. Leave the rest. And please use the spirit of discernment, booze. Okay, these are collective messages. However, I um, do encourage you. All right, if you want to get a personal reading, that is the best way to do it. Um, reach out to me. The link to my website is in the detail box below this video, okay? Don't forget, you guys, take only what you need. Your spirit of discernment, your intuition is your best friend, booze, okay? Now, so let's see what's going on. Let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides. Thank you for my true guides being here with me to deliver this message. Thank you so much for protecting us as we go through these portals to commune with you and close the gates to anything not in alignment. Thank you so much. All right, so tell me what the overall energy is for my collective. Thank you, you guys. Contract comes out. Okay, so it could be some type of legally binding situation you got going on. All right, it could be a partnership, it could be a friendship, it could be a marriage, it could be whatever. I don't know. You could be trying to buy a house, you could be trying to buy a car. I don't know. Whatever this doc, whatever this binding contract may be, or or connection you may have, um, I see that there's a lot of heartbreak okay around this this is weird energy because the next card that comes out is the door to value and then in the next position is broken heart okay so let me see i'm gonna pull all right i don't know what's going on here right but let's see let's see it's the door it's like the door to your new beginning is really it's open it's wide open all right everything that you value the most is available to you but it's something that's still breaking your heart Show me what I need to see here. What is this causing heartbreak for my collective? Okay, you got to make a choice. The truth comes out. Oh, man. So, movement, choices, and decisions. Okay, so let me see. Let's get that up a little closer, right? You got some options. You got some stuff that you got to decide on, right? And here again with the truth coming out. There's some stuff that's being revealed, okay? So some of you are definitely going through some type of spiritual awakening. And what I'm seeing is like, it's significant changes and choices that must be made. Wow. It's like you have the ability to pretty much juggle everything, but nah, you can't, because you have awakened, it's like certain things you can't do no more. You know how it's like, once you awaken, you can't turn back. And that's what it feels like. It's like you may have gotten a major wake up call and you know that you have to make a change in your life. You're knowing that the choices that you make now is detrimental. Let's just put it that way. And it's breaking your heart in some kind of way. So let's see. Tell me about that. Why is this choice breaking this person's heart? Yeah, it's like the, somebody got some type of revelation of truth or clarity or something here. And like I said, it's like once you see something, you can't unsee it. Or once you know the truth, you can't <laughs> you can't turn back, right? So what is that? Why is this breaking someone's heart? Yep, three of cups in the reverse. Because this means that either you're going to have to disconnect from someone okay or something you may have some type of third party situation going on okay i don't know what's going on like what could be other people involved but so far it looks like the choice that's gonna have to be made is somebody has to be let go of it's this is significant here so hmm why is this hmm. yeah the sun card comes in the reverse so it's actually literally causing someone to be unhappy very blocked in their happiness here at this time where this should be a time to really like celebrate is how i'm seeing it like because there's so much joy and happiness that's coming into your life and a relationship is getting ready to really blossom but somebody is just not happy about the fact that they have to make certain changes it's like they cannot juggle or do whatever they're doing any longer and what is that it has it's like one of these things it has to be made four cups comes out yeah and it's like somebody may be over it somebody may just be like not wanting to accept anything new 
at this point because somebody is literally still focusing on the past. The justice card comes out and the scales are being balanced like right now. So whatever is happening here, it's like it's happening now. It's like these significant changes is in front of someone now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Two of Swords upright, Knight of Wands in the reverse, Judgment card in the reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. And it's like one of these things here is like somebody stuck at the crossroads. Because I'm, I'm definitely feeling like whoever this masculine energy is could could be very non-committal or um, how else can I put it? Not really steady in relationships or whatever or commitments of some kind. Lacking the judgment. And it's like, you know how when you're not really ready to manifest something, but it's here now? <laughs> That's just basically, it's here now. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like, this person could be, or you, I don't know, right? 606 on my timer could literally be, you know, have plans for this in the future. But it's like, it was an idea, but you know... I wasn't ready for it now <laughs> type energy wow this is interesting okay so why do they the sun yeah this is really blocking somebody in their happiness right now wow so what is pushing them to have to wake up to make these changes justice <laughs> the law of cause and effect this is universal divine movement, okay? Karma is at play. It's kind of like pushing someone now to wake up. Yep, the sun card comes out to go towards their happiness, okay? But the thing is, old habits die slow, right? Tell me about the broken heart. Tell me about the broken heart. Seven of Pentacles. So some type of investment was made in some kind of way in something. And they may have been beginning to see it blossom or seeing some type of results from the investment. You know how that be, right? And it's like you already put your energy and your time into something. And now it's like, I know the truth. I can't turn back. So it's more like a feeling of loss. It's how I'm hearing it. So somebody is experiencing the feeling of loss because, yeah, King of Swords comes out in the reverse. And, and when it comes to honesty and integrity and solving this problem fairly, it feels like whoever this masculine energy is lacks that structure. It's like they don't know how to use their intuition to do this properly, okay? Yep, they lack the judgment. Hmm. Mm hmm Look at that. Empress and the Three of Cups. Wow. Divine feminine energy. Feminine energy period three of cups okay so definitely feeling like there is you know a lot of value in this situation a lot to be celebrated here this is like a soul tribe member this like i said this could be somebody's twin flame um doesn't have to be but this is definitely a connection here that has a lot of value so what's the significance and I feel like someone sees that, yeah. Two of Wands in the upright position, but the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is there. This feels like something that someone, maybe a masculine energy has been dreaming about. You know, trying to make the right choices, trying to channel that energy in the right direction to resolve some of the obstacles they have in their life, right? But it's like one of those things where it's like, I can't fumble an empress. I can't juggle an empress. I got to make changes. And if I don't make the changes. And it's like, this is the great wake up call. 
So somebody has gotten a revelation. 10 minutes on my timer. Somebody has gotten a revelation, okay, that they have to make changes in their life or they're going to fumble an empress. This is significant choices that must be made and this is not making, this is breaking somebody's heart because this person isn't exactly ready to make those changes. The star card comes out. Tell me about the star card. Knight of Wands in the Six of Wands comes out next to the Star card. Okay, so y'all can see that, right? So that's that masculine energy coming in again. It's been a lot of challenges here for whoever this masculine is. And in order for them to be successful like this or win, they have to release their fear of losing. That's where the disadvantage comes in at, it feels like. And what I'm seeing is like, it's, this is a yes from the universe. Like this is literally something that could lead to um, a lot of achievements, okay? A lot of recognition, but this person has to be ready to get these things done. It's like I said, this is the great wake up call for someone. Okay, let me see if I can get a message from Archangel Michael. Hold on one second, I'm feeling the psychic tarot still talking to me. Yep, spiritual strength. So somebody literally, that's what they're saying. It's discontent and boredom. It's like that four cups energy coming through. Um, and what I feel is like, whatever this is, it's like, you know how you may be tired of struggling? But now is not the time to get, give in. This is the time to actually keep moving forward here and make these changes. So whatever it is that could be making someone feel very discontent or restless or impatient, um, it's draining. Let's just put it that way. It's draining emotionally and energetically. And that also creates a block. But what I'm seeing is like whatever this period of stagnation may be for you is, is literally building a foundation for yourself. Okay, at this point, you may not see it, but of course, as we go through our transformation, life flows through cycles. So it's revelations and truths and things that we have to get clarity about and things that we have to learn about ourselves, all of these significant changes that we have to make in order for us to be able to get to that point in our life where we are boom, extremely successful the way that we want to be, whether it's emotionally, physically, materially, however... And it comes with hard work, with great effort, with determination, and you have the ability to do it. This person has the ability to do it, but it's still that situation going on here, you know, where there's that deception or there's some type of envy or something here. Um, and why? Why is there deception and envy? Because somebody could be looking at somebody else's success. Focusing on somebody else's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Page of Cups comes out. Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands. Okay. So you have to be persistent. Whoever it is, right? They need, it's persistency is needed with that Page of Cups and listening to your intuition because I feel like there's tons of opportunities and ideas that are coming, but it takes for you to be connected to your intuition and to stay goal-oriented to manifest these things. And this is what's really happening. Again, like I said, it's like it's a lot of significant changes that have to be made. And in order to be able to get to this aspect, the door to value where everything you want comes through it, it calls for total alignment, a connection to spirit. So now someone is being awakened, okay, to make changes in their life so that they can be able to have that success to come from being the king of pentacles reverse, to get out of that greed energy, the materialistic energy, the, the insecure energy, okay? Um, but in order to get there, you got to be built up. You have to go through a transformation. You got to let go of what no longer serves you. And you have to be open in your heart space, this is an emotional awakening that's taking place for someone, okay? So, mm -hmm. it's going to be some positive changes, but trust your intuition. 
it's time to listen to that inner wisdom here in order to continue to get to this the foundations and achievements and things i'm going to read that from the book but um you already know what it do right so i ain't gonna keep repeating it but however it's the purple ones see It says this card confirms that you've been built what you've been building is now firmly established with a strong and solid foundation you deserve this and it's time for you to harvest the rewards for your efforts what you sold you can now reap but be open to receive as you worked hard and have given so much allow the universe to give a little back to you for there has to be an even exchange of giving and receiving in order to prime the pump of gratitude and reinforce the law of attraction so using the more traditional meaning in tarot this card represents Represents a period for celebration, for peace and prosperity. It may also imply marriage or buying of land or home or, or a new home. As you enjoy this time of relaxation that you deserve, know that nothing remains stagnant and the winds of change are always at your door. Life goes in cycles. You're in this period of stagnation, but the winds of change are literally at your door. And all you're being asked to do is to release some things that no longer serve you in order to get to that point. Okay, and it seems like this is like, you know how it's like something that you may have prayed for, but then it's like now that it's here, especially when it comes to a partnership. And then it's like now that it's here and these significant changes have to be made. You like, wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Right. And so now somebody's stuck like, okay, I know I got to make a move, but what do I do? Do I marry this person? Right. Do I go after the money? Hmm. I don't know what the plants stand for. <laughs> but shit, I don't know. Or do I take a walk? Right. But whatever it is, it's like a choice or decision has to be made. And it looks like the universe is like nudging someone like, boom. yeah, <clears throat> this is the choices. <laughs> yeah, what it's going to be. Right. So let's see. Let's see what Archangel Michael got to say about this. Whoa. Have confidence. That's good. I love that. Ask Archangel Michael to lend you courage and fortitude to help you realize that you are the one that you are one with all that is divine wisdom, strength, love, and creativity, abundance, and health. So ask to help feel confident and peaceful about yourself in all ways. You gotta have confidence in what it is that you're trying to do here period all of it this is a part of your awakening have confidence hold on i'm gonna read that have confidence okay here we go this card serves as a talisman to raise your self-confidence archangel michael has been trying to reassure you that you have the strength the power and skills that are valuable to god's plan of peace michael is protecting you while you shine bright while you shine your bright light Listen to your intuition and act with a plum. In relationships, your self-assurance attracts healthy people by your side. It also triggers respect in others. As you're falling asleep each night, ask Archangel Michael to help raise your confidence. You'll wake up feeling love and compassion for yourself and others. Have confidence in your plans and ideas. Tune into your intuition as it is right on um, target and trust the person you're inquiring about. Have faith that you're on the right path. Know that your financial and other needs are being met now and in the future. You've got to have confidence in what you are asking for, okay? It's happening now. This is the great wake-up call. Wake up, people. All right, y'all. So enjoy your holiday. Peace.